Yeah, this was a uh, very interesting uh, trial which uh, looked at uh, one of three single agents uh, in the management of ovarian cancer, all recognized to be active at some level in platinum resistant ovarian cancer. So, uh, topatecan, weekly paclitaxel, or pegylated liposomal doxorubicin. And the experimental arm of the trial, that was the control arm, one of those three drugs. And the experimental arm of the trial was the use of those drugs with um, bevacizumab. And the trial, uh, and it looked at, it was in platinum resistant ovarian cancer. And the trial showed very nicely a uh, significant improvement in progression free survival in favor of the use of the combination regimen, that is, the single chemotherapy drug with bevacizumab. Um, in a uh, analysis of the individual uh, arms of the, uh, the individual parts of the trial, which is acceptably, st from a statistical perspective, to do, that is, you can look at the individual drugs because the overall trial was positive, so you're not cherry picking there to sort of say, well, let's just find something positive. The trial was positive. Uh, all of the uh, drugs uh, given with the with the bevacizumab or individually, so clipacotaxel, topatecan, or um, pegylated lamisulfonil doxorubicin given with bevacizumab showed an improvement in progression-free survival. Um, and basically, the the, the drugs. Um, with the bevacizumab were reasonably well tolerated with the anticipated side effects that are seen with bevacizumab, predominantly um, hypertension, which needs to be uh, watched carefully, of course. Uh, it is my opinion, that absolutely, that this particular trial uh, does, um, I won't say uh, it's obligated that a patient gives bevacizumab, but there's no question in my mind that this is a very important trial.